So if you're wanting to find more unique outfits in Fallout 76, you clicked on the right video. This is actually a start to a continued series where I'll be compiling a bunch of different unique outfit locations and showing you where they are located at. So hopefully you end up enjoying this first episode, and if this is something that you'd like me to keep up and you end up enjoying this, consider leaving a like on the video. That's always greatly appreciated. And maybe stick around by subscribing for more Fallout 76 content similar to this. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into all of these now. So for this first unique outfit that I'll be going over will be the Preacher's Robes. Now this is a unique outfit that can be located, it seems like, in churches. I'll be showing you two locations that you can get this outfit at. As you can see, if you come over here on the map and head inside this very eerie church, it's a very sinister vibe in here, and it seems like everyone that was in this church participate in some kind of mass suicide as you can see the cups next to each of their remains I'm guessing they probably drank poison together and I have no idea what is up with the strange makeshift demons or whatever these things are around inside this church once again very eerie in here I gotta hand it to the developers though the amount of detail overall on this map in Fallout 76 is insane I mean you can even play the piano in here but anyways, you just want to head upstairs in this place, and it gets even creepier up here. It looks like some kind of sacrifice is going on. I honestly have no idea what is going on in here. If you head over this way, though, the area that overlooks inside of the church, this will lead you to a staircase to get to the very top of this place. And up at the top here, there will be the preacher's robes that we can collect. I will say, however, my buddy did collect them before I got up to them, so they're not laying there for me. But as you can see, he is wearing them at the moment, and this is where you can collect these robes at. So for this other location that you can collect these preacher robes at is over in this general area. You just want to head over inside this church, and it'll be located in this coffin here. And there will also be a note as well next to them. Now, once again, my buddy picked these up, too, so they wasn't laying there, but trust me, they will be there when you come here. If they aren't, well, then that just means someone recently picked them up. Just check the other location, and more than likely, they'll be there. This note right here is proof that something will spawn in this coffin. They may not be here every time, just keep that in mind, though. But yeah, it seems like there are plenty of locations where these will spawn. These aren't the only locations where you can get them at. Now this next one, however, it seems like this is the only area that you can get this unique outfit at. And that is this spacesuit. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It looks like a spacesuit, I have to say. But still, nonetheless, if you want to look like a spaceman running around in Fallout 76, you just want to head up into this general location on the map. There will be this code you'll have to enter in to open a door, and inside that area will be plenty of spacesuits in these lockers that you and your buddies can pick up. Now, keep in mind, these are worth quite a bit apiece, too. They're worth 300 bottle caps each, and the helmet is still worth quite a bit, too, apiece. So yeah, these are definitely worth it to come here and loot. So how you figure out the password to open up this door, by the way, it was already open on my screen just because we already went inside and looted the place. There is a note that you can pick up over here, and on this note will be the password for that door. As you can see, here it is. So yeah, you just enter this, and that'll open the door, and you go ahead and grab your spacesuits inside. Now, I'm not exactly positive if multiple spacesuits spawned here just because we had multiple people on our team, or if there's just always multiple spacesuits here that spawn, even if you're by yourself. If so, that'll be quite a bit of bottle caps for you. I don't know for sure if that's the case. Either way, this is another unique outfit that you can go and grab. Okay, so next up here, I'm bundling quite a bit together because they are in the same area. So if you head over here to this watchtower on the map next to the pumpkin house and head up on inside the watchtower, you will notice that it will be decked out in Halloween decorations. And when I first stumbled upon this, oh man, it was a good time. I did not expect at all to see all of these Halloween decorations up here. This is really awesome. And I just want to mention really quick, just in case some of you may not know, for those of you worrying that this may be a timed Halloween event, it isn't. The bombs actually dropped in Fallout around Halloween time. And up here I have seen a skull costume on the ground, witch's hat on the table, a ranger's hat on the table, and a ranger's outfit underneath the table. 
So four different unique apparel you can get up here. I gotta hand it to the developers real quick. They did a very nice job with the little details around a lot of places. Such as, for instance, on top of this watchtower. I mean, look at this place. Can't wait to see other unique places that are discovered. But if the Halloween clothing doesn't spawn up here, I do know of another area that you can check out. I highly suggest to go check out the Pumpkin House, which is located right here on the map. Just because, you know, the Skull costume and Witch's Hat can spawn there. But also, that's where you can get the unique Skull Mask as well to complete the Skull Outfit. The Skull Mask should be located on the porch of the house. As you can see, it'll be located on this skeleton in a wheelchair. If it isn't there, that just means someone might have picked it up in that instance. Maybe try leaving the lobby that you're in and rejoining into a brand new one to see if it's there or not. That may help. And if you're looking for the other Halloween apparel, they have a chance to spawn upstairs in the house. Next up, I'm going to be showing you how to get the fire breather outfit. As you can see, here is what it looks like. And this is gotten from the quest called Into the Fire, which is a part of the main quest line. I'm not going to spoil too much, but eventually you will stumble upon this quest, and all you have to do is progress through it to unlock this fire breather suit. And it is pretty lengthy, I'm not going to lie. My buddy and my clan actually managed to get through it all. Okay, so next up here, I'm going to be showing you real quick where two different ski outfits are. As you can see, this is what they look like. And there will be a ski sword as well as some other skiing accessories that you can pick up to go with your outfit. And what's awesome is this is all located in the same area. You just want to head right over here next to the top of the world tower. And you want to head inside this building here and head down the stairs toward where the trading post is pointing at. And down here is a little shop that you can loot. There will be some ski outfits that you can pick up as well as some ski swords and other ski accessories. So yeah, this is definitely a nice spot to come check out. Next up here, I'm going to be showing you where the clown costume is at. Now, this can be located in multiple different areas. So yeah, keep that in mind. If it isn't at one area, just maybe go check the other areas that I end up showing you. Okay, so the first location, if you head over to the Ferris wheel on the map, Anyways, once you get here, you will notice that there are a ton of buildings. What you want to look for, though, is the lockers building, which there will be a sign outside of it. There will be a chance that a clown costume can spawn in here. Unfortunately, it didn't spawn here for me, though. A cop cap did, though, as you can see. If you're looking for that, that's also here. But if you come over here on the map at this lakeside area and head on inside this cabin here, you can find a clown costume on this love seat. And lastly, another location that you can find this clown costume at is located over here. Now, I found the clown hat from this area. Keep in mind, the clown hat can also spawn at the Ferris wheel location, too. Okay, so next up here, I'm going to be showing you where the amusement park outfit is located at. So, of course, this outfit will also be located in the amusement park as well. As you can see, here's a little bit of my surroundings. It's kind of off to the side of the main attractions in the park and you just want to head inside this building here and it will be located on top of the haystack in this place it looks really unique in here too but anyways lastly up on this selection i have for you an easter egg to the outsiders book there is a greasers outfit that you could find and keep in mind this can be found at other locations as well same with pretty much all the other outfits that i've shown you in this video as well but one for sure location that it can spawn at is in this general area. If you head on upstairs in this barn here, you'll find it laying over here. Now, once again, sadly, my buddy did pick it up first, but I'm telling you, this is where we end up finding this outfit laying at. But yeah, that's about wrapping up this guide. I do have a plan to continue this series. Once again, your support is greatly appreciated, and also maybe consider subscribing and sticking around for more Fallout 76 content similar to this. I'm out of here, though. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Peace.